Hello everyone, HHO for all here. Uh, this is the fully assembled uh, flip cup HHO fuel cell. Um, if you watched the tutorial on how to build the flip cup design, um, you would have seen this already. Uh, I added a couple more cups in there, so that way um, now it's a 15 cup design. There's uh, positive, negative, and then 13 neutral cups. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the container real quick here and just show you the output that I'm getting off of this. And I'll also show you um, I'm using distilled water and very, very little KOH. So um, hold on one second and I'll be right back to show you the results. Okay, <clears throat> now we're over at the test bench. Let's Actually, first thing we'll do is... Uh, We'll take our KOH here, and as you can see, there's just a few little flakes in there. Not much at all. And uh, I'm using a little salsa jar, just because for testing purposes, it's the perfect fit for this fuel cell. And it's, it's not something that I'm going to be using um, long term. You know, just for testing, it's small, it's out of the way, and it doesn't take much water to fill up. So, here we go. Drop this baby in there. Okay. Spin it around. Hard to do this with one hand. Okay. Connect up our positive. And our negative. Okay, now we're hooked up. Okay, check it out. Pretty good output. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Um, if you guys hold on just one second, I'll show you that the bubbles do ignite and that it is flammable. Alrighty. Okay, so let's... Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Yeah! HHO, baby. On a tiny little cell, this thing is about half the size of a Coke cup. So, you know, you can't beat it. The output that's coming off of this thing is pretty good. It's not bad at all. It, it barely even gets warm. I've run this cell for probably about two hours straight. And it gets a little bit warm, but not hot. So, as far as I can see, this is a pretty good model to go off of and I'm excited about it you know it's it's a nice design it works pretty good so I guess the next step is going to be putting this into an enclosure so I'll put it into a little 4x4 PVC box that I bought over at Home Depot and uh, we'll hook up some valves on it and my two stage bubbler dryer and we'll get it in the car and then uh, we'll do some mileage tests so uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll come out with more videos HHO for all. I'm out of here.